Watch the torn corner from this Queen of Clubs as I try to fuse it into the box of Tic Tacs. Watch. Damn, I threw the Tic Tacs too hard and now they've gone inside the box. Watch the Tic Tacs. One, two, three. They melt straight through the box. Watch the torn corner from this Queen of Clubs. I melt it through the box of Tic Tacs. Damn, I threw it too hard, and now the Tic Tacs have gone straight through into the cart. Watch the box, watch the Tic Tacs as I try to get them to melt straight through the box. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. Hello to all the new subscribers out there and welcome back to all the family. I think this might be my favorite ever Tutorial Tuesday because the effect is so visual and the gimmick is just so much fun to play with and surprisingly it's a lot easier than what you think. Now if you want to be in with a chance of winning this exact gimmick which I do not want to give away because I do not have another one then all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to this channel and share the video on social media. Share this video link and tag me in it on Instagram or Facebook and I will choose one lucky winner at random to receive this gimmick shipped to you free wherever you are in the world. Now a lot of you have been asking about my custom copyrighted anything is possible hats. They are now available in the merch store down below. These are fantastic talking points for your audience because it stares them right in the face. Just when you're about to reveal the moment of magic, you can say, did you know anything is possible? It's been staring you right in the face the entire time. Because quite literally, this is an ambigram that says anything and possible. So quite literally, anything is possible and they don't even realize it. It's right in front of their face. So these are available down the merch store down below. Okay, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, but let's just dive straight into how to make the gimmick. First thing, we're off the sticks this time. I'm going to show you what I did first of all. I'm going to take a box of Tic Tacs, as you can see here, and I'm going to scan them in my scanner. So as you can see, I took my Tic Tac inside my scanner. I placed them in my scanner just like this, and then I used a black sheet to cover them so that there was no white background and scanned them in. And then I did this for each side. So I did this side, and then I laid the black sheet on top, did this side, and the top. I actually did the whole thing, but I ended up only using three sides. So as you can see, each piece was scanned in just like this. So I would press scan, and that would scan it in. And then you can see the result is I get the front, side, and top of the Tic Tac box, just like this. With these, I take them into Photoshop and place them on some printed paper just like this. And now, because these were scanned in, they're the exact correct dimensions. And you can get this file linked down below in the description or up on screen. But now I'm going to print this out. So I'll print. And now let's go and check the printer. Then you can see the printout. So now what I do is cut out uh, the three sides that I want. So I'm going to cut out the top, the, the le my left, and the face of the Tic Tac box. And now what I'm going to do is cut out exactly this section of the card box face. So not the gold edge, but just this inner section here. Okay, so just like this. Now this is, this is I don't have a spare box, so I've just used the back of another box. But just so you can get an idea, I would turn the, this cut out white side up, so face down. And then lay my pieces 
of my tic tac box in the shape of a tic tac box on the opposite side. So one, two, and three, just like this. And then I want to try and move it as close to the edge as I can, the edges, so the top edge here and this edge here. And that's where I'm going to position my tic tacs. Now I need to get some small magnets. You can see how small these magnets are. So using double stick tape, I'm now going to stick these tiny disc magnets, super small neodymium disc magnets in these positions. I'm going to stick one here, and this is between the two layers, so between the card and the thing. I'm going to stick one there in the, in the bottom center, one here, one here in the, in the middle of the lid, and one uh, on the side and one at the bottom of the side, okay? So that in total there'd be five magnets on this part of the fake Tic Tac box. Then I'm going to cut all around the remainder of the white part of the box until I'm left with something that looks like this. Okay? Now two more things that I've done. I've taken another Tic Tac box and I use steam from a kettle to steam the label to peel it off and stick it on top and now I have a real foil reflective label which helps sell the illusion. The other thing I did is using a craft knife I scored the lines here so that it's easy to flap so these lines are scored but you can see the magnet kind of there you can see where the magnet is there here here and here and you can see that's on the back of the card box. The last thing I do, I turn this face down, take another card box, place it in exactly the same position, right, so it looks perfect on there, and I put five magnets on the inside of the box and tape them down. And as you can see here, I've already done that with this box. There's actually only four, one must have fallen off, but either way, you don't need it. You can see the magnets in there that I've taped down using some magic tape. So now, fall into place just like that. So that's how you make your gimmick. So that's the gimmick. It's actually really really easy to make and as I said the printout is down below in the description for the Dropbox file. Now I'm going to teach you how to perform with your gimmick. I begin by placing a identical tic tac box into the box itself and I make sure that the orientation of the label is facing down. Okay, because we don't want this weird moment where suddenly the box penetrates through the box, but also inverts 180. Now I take my gimmick, and I'm going to, there's different handlings you can use, but mainly I'm going to fold it up at the edge here, and here, and pinch it together like this. So I'm holding it in the corner, like you would a normal tic-tac box. It's important to try and hold the tic-tac box as you would normally hold it. If you if you hold it specifically like you would need to for the gimmick, it kind of gives away that, you, that it's something unusual. But if you hold it like this, it looks really normal. What I'd like to also do is turn it so that it catches the light on the sticker and also shows this 3D edge off. The last thing I do is I kind of angle myself to the left slightly so they can see this edge, but they won't see this edge, okay? And now it's a matter of finding out which handling you like. You can basically just release and it'll fall down. But you want to add a bit of magic to it so you can act like you're throwing it in and aim. And I find to aim, the best tip is to hold slightly more forward than you think. Because if you're too far ahead, it'll miss and it won't connect. But if the box is a little bit more forward, even if it misses, it'll tend to slide into place. So that's my one tip for throwing, is just to sort of hold the box a little bit more forward than you think, okay? But essentially you're going to lay it down right onto it. Now you can do slow motions, where it comes down like this. You can throw it. You can bring the box up and make it vanish. You can do all sorts of different things. But either way, you're going to keep the box here. And here's a really cool thing. You're going to use this box as a rattle box. So you're going to create the illusion that you hear the sound of the tic tacs as they move. And you do this with the motivation of it. So you say, here, I, watch the box, watch the tic tacs as I try to make them melt into the box. And I do this motion to mimic what I'm about to do. And, that, and because they're both moving, you can't tell where the sound comes from. But realistically, it's actually coming from inside the box. 
But look, watch the box, watch the Tic Tacs. I try to make the Tic Tacs melt through the box. And it sounds like it's coming from the Tic Tac box. So it's got that audible convincer as well. So I go one, two, convince. On three, the beat of three, not, the, not an actual three, I penetrate the Tic Tacs through. And what's nice is, this is such a juxtaposed to what they see, and this is such a in, it's a, such a complicated design that you can see this quite clearly and you can't unsee it. But trust me, and I've done this on, on my wife, they won't be looking at this because they, it's just too much of like an information overload for their brain. As soon as you start to shake at the same time, they can't focus on any of the details. Now all you need to do is open up the lid and that'll block this view like that and tip the Tic Tacs out just like this and hand them the Tic Tacs. So one more time from the top for the Tic Tac through box presentation. You show the Tic Tacs, you show the box, you say I'm gonna make them penetrate through, audible convincer, penetrate the box or make it vanish onto here, open the box and display. This is my favorite effect. This is the corner through box, through box. <laughs> so this is how you set it up. Take a single card. I like to use a court card, but you can literally use any. Tear it in half, hold the corners so they line up perfectly. Okay, just like this. And tear both corners at the same time. Get rid of these two pieces. You now have two identical corners, or close enough. So you're going to take your gimmick, and this is a bit harder to set up, and it's better to do it on a table. But you're going to place one of the corners on the gimmick, and one under the gimmick to just begin. So one goes here, okay? And now you're going to hold this in a different position. And the position that you're going to hold the gimmick in is going to be the same for all the other changes that you do. So the way you do this is... You're going to bend the side up with your ring finger. You're going to bend the top down with your middle finger. Okay, I'll kind of give you an exposed view. And your index finger is going to pin the corner in place. So it's a little bit tricky to do. And one tip is that I like to just sort of hold this side in place with the, with the lid. The lid of the gimmick, right? So ring finger, middle finger, and I pin the corner in place at the back, just like that, right? So from the front, it looks like I'm just holding it by the edges, but I'm actually pinning the gimmick here, the, the corner there. Now I get the orientation correct for the corner, so they're both, they're both in the same orientation. And again, just like before, I'm gonna just drop the gimmick on top and, and watch what, what it looks like. Okay, that was a bit slow, but you see the idea. So one more time, I'll just quickly set it up. So I'll fold, fold, now I can say watch, I've got the Tic Tacs, watch the corner, just like that. Oops, oops, it's gone too far through. I like to take this corner and show it immediately. It just brings a distraction point here. And now you can open up here and show that the Tic Tacs went straight through everything. And that pinning finger is the same thing you're gonna use if you're gonna do folded card appearances or coins, anything you can think of. You're going to basically pin it at the back. But one more thing you can do is that you can hold this in a mechanics grip as well and do effects like uh, take the box and smash the box on top and have this reappear inside. But get creative with it. Do a million different things. You now know the gimmick, how it works. You now have the gimmick once you've made it and you can just do anything you like. I just want to say quickly what I particularly love about the corner penetration effect with the torn corner is that it's an extra layer of deception. You always want to be trying to layer your effects as much as possible to really destroy the layman's mind. So with, with the Tic Tac, just the effect alone of the box vanishing, it's an okay effect, but because it just vanishes, they, they're looking for where it's gone. By turning it into a penetration where the box penetrates inside the card box, now they have an answer, so their focus is disjointed. With the corner piece of a playing card added on top of that layer, now they're not looking for where the card box penetrated, but also they have this convincer that it couldn't be on the top of the box because the corner is still in place, so it would have to melt through it, and you're just layering it up. 
like layer upon layer, like, like bun, burger, cheese, bacon, burger, crispy onion bits, barbecue sauce, pulled pork, cheese, bun. The bigger the burger, the more the layers, the tastier it gets. So remember, if you want to win this gimmick, folks, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and share this video on social media. Tag me in it on Instagram or Facebook, and I will choose one of you lucky people at random next week, wherever you are in the world, to receive my one and only handmade gimmick, the exact one from this video. For everyone else, please make sure you subscribe, show me some love by hitting that like button. And as always, if you want to be the first person to see these videos, then don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the moment they drop. See you guys in two days for another episode of Fula every Thursday where I show my wife Kaylee brand new magic she's never seen before. And sometimes I'll even teach you how to do it. In this one, I'm going to show you my brand new app called Maxim. Maybe. <laughs>